My name is Richard Perrin. I'm a neurosurgeon working with Coastal Neurology and Neurosurgery in Anchorage, Alaska. And we're here to talk about uh, SI joint dysfunction and SI joint fusion. The SI joint is the joint between the sacrum and the ilium, it's the strongest joint in the body, surrounded by strong ligaments and muscles holding it in place. Some of the factors associated with SI joint dysfunction include low back or buttock pain on one side or the other. Sometimes the pain will radiate down into the leg. SI joint dysfunction is actually quite prevalent in patients with chronic low back pain. Somewhere between 15 to 30% of patients with chronic low back pain have SI joint dysfunction. In patients who have had previous spine surgery, 40% uh, can have SI joint dysfunction. When I see patients in clinic with SI joint dysfunction, they often complain of low back pain more on one side than the other. They will have difficulty standing on the leg that has the affected SI joint. They have difficulty sitting on that side and will often sit on the opposite side to offload the affected SI joint. They have difficulty going up and down stairs and often have difficulty transitioning from sitting to standing. They will often point over the SI joint and they'll say it hurts right here and that's known as the Fortin finger test. I then often will do other special provocative maneuvers that stress the SI joint and this helps confirm the diagnosis clinically. If I suspect the patient clinically has SI joint dysfunction I will send them for a diagnostic SI joint injection and if that relieves their pain at least temporarily it helps confirm the diagnosis. For patients with SI joint dysfunction, treatment options include activity modification, physical therapy, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, therapeutic injections, which are intended to last longer than diagnostic injections. And if those are not effective, then surgical treatment can be considered. In my practice, I use the iFuse implant system for SI joint fusion. The reason for this is that it's the product that has been on the market the longest and has substantial clinical evidence supporting its use and clinical efficacy. That gives me peace of mind when I recommend this procedure to patients. What's unique about iFuse is that it is a triangular system that is inserted percutaneously and this achieves immediate rigidity of the joint and also long-term stability and fusion. The procedure is performed through a small incision. Typically three implants are placed the procedure takes about an hour. It's done as an outpatient, meaning that you can go home later the same day. In my practice, I typically ask that patient wear use crutches for the first two weeks to prevent excessive weight bearing on that SI joint. In my experience, the procedure is very well tolerated. Patients enjoy the fact that they can go home the same day. They often feel better within a day or two and often tell me that there was immediate relief of the SI joint pain that they were having before the surgery. SI joint dysfunction is an often unrecognized cause of chronic low back pain. If some of the symptoms I described earlier sound like symptoms that you're experiencing, I would be happy to see you in the office to evaluate whether or not SI joint dysfunction is a component of your back pain.